Plotting a cumulative frequency graph means we need to plot a graph using running totals because cumulative frequency means running total. Before we can plot a graph using running totals, we need to do a running total. So we need an extra row, or if the table was in columns, an extra column. It's DF for cumulative frequency. Running total. Add up as you go along. One is still one. One and four make five. Five and fifteen make twenty. Twenty and seventeen make thirty-seven. Thirty-seven and three make forty. These are our cumulative frequencies of running totals. So we're going to use these to draw a graph. If the graph is cumulative frequency, then we get rid of the frequency row or column if it's in columns. No longer required. Now we're going to plot a graph using these numbers and some of these numbers. The next question is, do we use 70, the midpoint 75, or the endpoint 80? For a cumulative frequency, we always use the end point. It's a running total, so we're running this way. It's the end point. So we're going to go 80 along and 1 up, 90 along and 5 up, 100 along and 20 up, 110 along and 37 up, and 120 along and 40 up. Where's the first point? Well, the first point is always 0 and it zero corresponds with the first possible score for the very start of the first class with the frequency. So we're going to start at 0, 070. So we're going to plot those points. Here's our point, 0, 070. And then we're going to join them with a smooth curve. A smooth curve, not dot to dot. Join them with a smooth curve. And there's our smooth curve. not quite gone through those points, but it's quite hard to do it with a mouse, but you want to go exactly through those points, and there shouldn't be a hump at the end, it should just, that's a bit incorrect, you should just curl and touch it, not go past it, you shouldn't dip down. Right, that's cumulative frequency graph. We carry on, because we can use our cumulative frequency graph to draw a box plot. A box plot needs five things. It needs the lowest possible score. The lowest possible score is 70. It needs the highest possible score. The highest possible score is 120. It needs the middle person. And we, because it's an estimate anyway, we don't need to add one. We just half the highest, we half the number of items in the thing, 40. Half it is 20, but halfway down, we go across to our graph, and we go down. And that looks about 100. We need a lower quartile. So we see there's 40 pieces of information, we do a quarter of it, we divide by 4, we go across to our graph, and we go down. That seems to be about 94. So the lower quartile, the median, we need the upper quartile. There's 40 of them, the upper quartile is three quarters of the way along here. So divide by four times by three, we'll see that the gap is the same. Go across, three quarters of the way, go down, and that seems to be 105. The median is about 100 and the lower quartile is about 90. On that basis, we can do a box plot. We start with our lowest possible score, which is 70. The lowest possible score, 70. The, upper, the lower quartile, big, big line at 94. The median, another big line, to represent the median at 100. The upper quartile, 105. 
and the highest possible score 120. Join up the ends with whiskers. The median score is this one in the middle. This is the lower quartile, upper quartile, the highest value and the lowest value. The median score is estimated to be 100. The interquartile range is the gap between the quartiles. So we get this number and we subtract this number to find the difference. 105 minus 95 is 10. Joy was the other person who played the golf and she had a different median score and a different interquartile range. A higher median score means that on average, on average, the median is an average, you compare the medians, on average, Joy took more shots. She had a higher median score. On average, Joy took more shots. And you would say because her median is 105 and Laura's median was 100. You complete the sentence. The, her interquartile range is 25. The bigger your range, the less consistent you are. So you would say Joy had a bigger interquartile range, had a greater interquartile range. Interquartile range. Therefore, you would write the word, she is less consistent. She plays better some days, worse on other days, and she does that to a greater degree. No one plays the same every day, but she is less consistent because she has a big interquartile range.